Okay, so here is a, um, sub a complex number subtraction, but it has fractions. Okay, so, but we're still going to do it the same way. These are still just numbers. And so we're going to do real part minus real part, imaginary part minus imaginary part, and then simplify it and represent our answer. So here we're going to have 3 sevenths minus 1 ninth plus 2 fifths i minus 3 eighths i. Okay? So in order to do 3 sevenths minus 1 ninth, we're going to need a common denominator, right? So we're going to multiply the 3 and the 7 by 9. 9 times 3, 9 times 7. 9 times 3, that's 27 over 9 times 7, that's 63 minus. Now we're going to multiply the 1 and the 9 by the other denominator, 7. So it would be 7 times 1 and 7 times 9. 7 times 1, that's 7. 7 times 9, that's 63. Okay, that's the real part, plus. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. The i is irrelevant. We just need to be able to subtract 2 fifths minus 3 eighths, and then the i just goes along for the ride. So we need to change the 2 fifths by multiplying the 2 and the 5 by the 8. 8 times 2 and 8 times 5. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 5 is 40. And then we put an i on. Minus. Now we've got to change the 3 eighths, the 3 and the 8, by multiplying each of these by the 5. 5 times 3, that's 15. Over 5 times 8, that's 40. Put on an i, and it's the same thing. Now we just have to subtract here. 27, minus, 27 over 63 minus 7 over 63. Now the 63 is just the common denominator. It goes along for the ride. So really we're doing 27 minus 7. 27 minus 7 is 20, and that's over 63, plus. And then we have the 16 minus 15 is 1. 1 over 40. And then I, and this is actually our answer. That is a complex number, 20 over 63 plus 1 over 40i. All right, let's try one more. Here we have an addition. Oh, there's supposed to be an i here. There we go. So we've got a complex number here, a plus bi, a plus bi. So they're both complex numbers. So we're going to add the real parts. We're going to do 5 ninths plus 2 sevenths plus, well, that, this plus goes here. Please, please understand that. I, I don't want to mess that up. We always put a plus in between. We represent this addition inside the parentheses. Plus negative 8 over 11i, negative 8 over 11i, plus 4 fifths i. Okay, good. Now, over here, this 5 ninths, we've got to multiply the 5 and the 9 by 7. 7 times 5 is 35 over 7 times 9 is 63. Plus... The 2 and the 7, we're going to multiply by 9 each. 9 times 2 is 18, over 9 times 7 is 63. And so the real part is going to be 35 plus 18, which is 53 over 63. Okay, good. Plus, over here, we're, we've got to convert this negative 8 over 11. The that negative is just going to go along for the ride. Okay, so we'll put plus here. The 8 and the 11 have to be multiplied by 5. So 5 times 8 is 40. So it's negative 40 over 5 times 11 is 55. Plus the 4 fifths, each of these have to be multiplied by this 11. So 11 times 4 is 44. And 11 times 5 is 55. There's an I on here and there's also an I on here. Sorry about that. forgot the I. So now we have negative 40 plus 44. That's 4. And so we're going to wind up with 4 over 55 i. And here is our complex number, 53 over 63 plus 4 over 55 i.